All right, back with a short video today. I know this video has been done before, but I do not have it on my channel. So I figure I have to change this one over. We might as well go ahead and record it. So Freestyle Dash, um, I know a lot of people like this dashboard because it has a similar layout to the original dashboard. However, I don't really care for it. Um, I just got this 360 out that I did last year. Um, plugged in, gonna update it, get it on Marketplace to get it sold. And it's on Freestyle Dash, so I wanna change that over to Aurora. Um, so we'll go ahead and get it started. First thing you're gonna need, Aurora dashboard, dash launch. Um, get that on a flash drive. If you don't have it on your console already, onto the hard drive. Um, I already have it on the hard drive, I believe. Um, this is just a hard drive that I copy. I have it stored on my computer. I just plug it in, um, go into Fat Explorer, change it over, switch or you know, push everything to the new hard drive so it's all set up. Um, anyway, go up to Utilities. Let's jump into File Manager. Go to HDD1. Um, as you can see, Aurora is already on here. Um, follow the on-screen instructions here. If you want to copy it over, copy it. You got to hold the left button to uh, go to the copy and paste. So, uh, let's jump into Dash Launch real quick. Installer default XEX. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to jump into Paths here. So there's Freestyle Dash default XEX. We're going to change that. Press the A button, go back uh, to the three dots up here to go back a folder. Jump into Aurora. Come down to Aurora XEX. Press the A button. Now, if you want to configure the buttons here, you can go ahead and do that now. Same concept. Go in, choose where you want to launch. If you wait a few minutes, it pops up here. It'll tell us um, you know, what, what the button combinations are. So... We're going to go ahead and press the right bumper. Come over into USB or into HDD, sorry. Wait a minute and it will pop back up and tell you what you want to do. So we want to save to launch INI and we want to have that on the hard drive. So press the X button. Settings saved. That is honestly all there is to it. Now we're going to hit the home button. should bump you right into Aurora. Now, I already have this configured. Like I said, I have a hard drive that I copy over. I already had all this done. If you want to set the file paths, let's go into settings, content. We'll just go ahead and I'm gonna delete these so that I can show you what we're gonna do here. Screen might be a little glitchy. Again, I'm using a cheap capture card. I do this as a hobby uh, in the winter time when I don't have uh, much work to do because it's cold out and my job uh, slows down a lot in the winter. Okay, so now we can go back to the main screen. We have nothing on the screen. This is normally what you're going to see. So you can have your folder structure set up. Honestly, we'll go into File Manager really quick. HDD1, you can have it set up however you want. I have like emulator separated, um, homebrew, it's Marble Blast Ultra. If you guys want the full version of that, I did a video of it, pretty easy to get. That is the copy folder I still have to delete. So there's uh, more room on this hard drive. OG Xbox games, Xbox Live Arcade games, Xbox 360 games, so. Um, you can set up this folder structure, honestly, however you want, whatever is more convenient for you to keep things neatly organized. So we're going to exit out of this because we don't want that anymore. We're going to go into settings. Let's go ahead and manage paths. Click add in the content folder or section here. Now the depth, the depth is going to be how far into that folder structure you want it to scan. So for this one, I'm going to put it up because I know that it's it's pretty deep in a folder. I never changed it. I didn't really care to change it. That would be Marble Blast Ultra. So you can go up to 9 or you can go to Infinity. It's just going to keep searching, searching, searching. We're just going to leave it at 9. Go back up to Change. HDD1. Marble Blast Ultra. We're going to select that. 
just going to label that as homebrew. Doesn't really matter for this one. So it's going to look like this, just repetitive, because that's all we have in here right now. We'll go back to settings, content. Let's add a new path. Let's go ahead and do emulators. Select Y. We'll bring that scan depth up to 5. Emulator save. So as you can see now, we have some more items in here. It will download the cover if it can find it. I know that for whatever reason, the uh, Nintendo does not always populate for whatever reason. So if you're having issues with that, as long as you are connected to the internet, we can go into details by pressing Y, come down to preview, scroll over, download cover, and it'll pop up and you can choose whatever cover you'd like. We're just gonna download this one here. And so now you have a cover for that. Now we're gonna go back into settings again. Let's go into add. Scan depth at 5, change, HDD1. We will go with OG Xbox games. So now we have a couple more games loading up here. Wait for it to show. One of the best games ever released on uh, Xbox right there Marvel Blast Ultra as well and so now let's go ahead and add our Xbox 360 games and you can keep going keep going keep going whatever you want to add to your dashboard um, so go back into add I'm just gonna go with five again HDD one Xbox 360 game oops I didn't want to do that we're gonna go back press Y on Xbox 360 game save it's now adding more because again I have these on my hard drive already so as far as transferring games and transferring content over um, honestly you know the the most cost efficient way is gonna be flash drive however the easiest way is going to be fat Explorer um, get you one of those uh, transfer cables they released back in the day when they came out with the Slim, so you could plug in your fat hard drive into this little adapter, plug it into your new Slim 360 by USB, and transfer all your content. I have one of those, works great on the computer, works even better with Fat Explorer because not only does it have the uh, SATA function for the Slim hard drive caddy, it also has the uh, adapter plug in for the fat hard drive. So you just plug it in and go, load up Fat Explorer integrate your drive into windows and you can just drag and drop all your content it makes it a hell of a lot quicker so honestly that's all we're doing for this video just ch changing over to aurora dashboard and configuring your file paths for the dashboard and so if we go ahead and turn off the console turn it back on it should boot up into Aurora dashboard now. Now it's going to load all your configuration settings and all of your stuff should be here. If you are connected to the internet, it will scan for content every time. If you add something new, it's going to pull that up. Um, so I, I like this dashboard, just the simplicity of it, a lot better than Freestyle Dash. I still like Freestyle Dash, don't get me wrong, it's a good dashboard, there's nothing wrong with it, but um, I personally prefer Aurora. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video. There's really nothing else to cover on here. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know.